Hello, I am Audumar Parker and welcome to this lecture on the module Corrosion. In this lecture, we are going to talk about different types of corrosion. Corrosion can be classified into two main types. Dry also called as chemical corrosion and weight also called as electrochemical corrosion. Dry corrosion may be because of oxygen gas or that may be because of other gases. And weight or electrochemical corrosion may be of five types. That may be galvanic cell corrosion, concentration cell corrosion, beating corrosion, stress corrosion, or intergranular corrosion. In this particular lecture, let's first understand two main types of corrosion, dry corrosion and put in by weight or electrochemical corrosion. So let's start with the first chemical corrosion. This type of corrosion occurs when metal is exposed to the dry environment. Due to the direct chemical action of atmospheric gases such as oxygen or halogens or hydrogen sulfide or sulfur dioxide and many more, metal gets corroded. Here the reaction takes place at the interface between the metal and the surrounding gases and chemical reaction takes place between the metal surface and the surrounding gases this dry corrosion may be because of oxygen or because of other gases in case of oxidation corrosion or corrosion due to oxygen Metals are attacked by dry oxygen at extreme conditions like low or high temperature. And what you can observe here, metal reacts with the oxygen gas to produce metal oxides. Here is the example, magnesium reacting with the oxygen gas producing magnesium oxide. Now in this case magnesium that is in solid form reacting with the surrounding oxygen gas and forming a magnesium oxide on the metal surface. So reaction will always occur on the surface of the metal in this case. And if you check the periodic table, group 1 and 2 elements that means alkali metals and alkaline earth metals will preferentially will get attacked by oxygen gas at normal temperature and they will get corroded at faster rate. And of course all the other metals will also get corroded by oxygen but somewhat higher temperature similarly other gases also can attack on the metal like sulfur dioxide hydrogen sulfides or chlorine fluorine iron like gases in dry environment in this case Again, the metal surface will react with the surrounding gases to form a chemical reaction which will lead to the corrosion. Extent of corrosive effect depends mainly on the chemical affinity between the metal and the gas involved. How much reactive the gas to the metal that decides how much corrosion will be. The degree of attack depends upon the formation of protective and non-protective films on the metal surface. Now here different possibilities are there. 
when metal reacting with the surrounding gases metal forms a corrosion product that will be deposited on the metal surface now this corrosion product forming on the metal surface may produce different types of layers on the metal surface that may be stable unstable or volatile in case of stable corrosion product on the metal surface that may produce porous or maybe non porous type of oxide layer now if the metal is forming porous type of layer on its metal surface then corrosion will continue if non porous type of film is forming on the metal surface corrosion will be somewhat reduced the next type that is electrochemical corrosion also called as weight corrosion now this type of corrosion takes place in the aqueous environment that means metal is in contact with the water or moisture in this process of corrosion separate anodic and cathodic areas are formed on the metal surface in presence of electrolyte solution that means aqueous environment which contains free ions to transfer the charge part of the metal is behaving as anode and part of the metal is behaving as cathode this may be because of different possibilities that may be because of improper chemical nature of the metal surface or different chemical environment of the electrolyte solution in the surrounding or when there may be two metals joining together coming in contact with the same electrolyte solution so various possibilities why part of the metal is behaving as an anode and the part of the metal is behaving as a cathode and the current flows through the conducting solution in this case tiny electrochemical cells are formed on the metal surface and this corrosion reaction starts so today we discuss about different types of corrosion i hope you understand in the next lecture we'll talk about mechanisms of electrochemical corrosion thank you very much see you next time